a walk-in pantry in a kitchen would be terrific. Depending on your situation, you may not have the budget for it or simply don't need one. Maybe your kitchen's too small, or you have an existing one that's already filled to the brim. SimpHome.com has rounded up 12 marvelous ideas to organize different types of pantries. Stick around because you might find the solution you're looking for. Number 12. Build this rustic walk-in pantry system. If you have any recessed space that's hardly ever used, you can continue the wall and add a door casing. Leave it open without a door if you have a knack for decorating. It will also force you to keep it clean and well organized. The solid wood shelves are held up by black brackets and wrap around the sides and back wall. You can continue the flooring to make it seem more a part of the kitchen. Various shaped large jars hold common ingredients like flour and sugar, while smaller ones contain several types of spices. Also used are different crates, baskets, and other stylish containers for other stuff. 11. How to build pantry shelf using MDF board. Cut as many shelves from the MDF board as you need. These shelves are mitered 45 degrees at the corner to form an L shape. It would be the perfect time to paint the pantry walls and the MDF before installing them. One inch by two inch cleats driven into the walls with screws will hold the shelves in place. Attach a two inch by two inch post on the L corners using small brackets and screws for more structural support. If shelf corners are protruding from the doorway, trim them 45 degrees to avoid bumping into them. I also recommend caulking at the inside edges for a more polished look. 10. Adopt an open pantry concept. Here's another way to take advantage of an even smaller recessed area, open shelves. You may have to add siding that matches the shelves depth on one side while the opposite ends rest on an existing wall. Prep the area with caulk and fresh coats of white paint. You can use three quarter inch cheap laminate for the shelves and some one by one trim for cleats. Stain them with a deep brown color. After everything dries, Drive the cleats to the sides and back wall with screws while making sure to level them. Finally, place the shelves and secure them with brads. 9. Optimize an awkward space in your kitchen with this L-shaped shelving idea. This one is a corner walk-in pantry solution with L-shaped shelves but with a diagonal enclosure. Use 2 by 4 inch lumber for the framework. Figure out where you want to put the 1 inch deep perpendicular walls before connecting them with the diagonal frame. Leave an opening in the middle of the diagonal to fit a new door and frame. Next, install the electricals for lighting. For the walls, cut wall boards and screw them to the framework. Caulk and paint the interiors. Then cut L-shaped shelves from half inch MDF and secure them with 1 by 2 inch cleats. Install the new door and match the exterior finish to the kitchen walls. 8. Make your pantry spice rack more accessible. Mount spice racks behind your pantry door and save more space for your shelves. As a bonus, you can access your spice jars more conveniently. You can build a sturdier second unit under it for your detergents, wraps, and other larger items. The spice rack is 36 inches tall and 18 inches wide and made of 3 8 by 2 inch slats. Space the shelves to match different bottle heights and use bead boards as backing. Rails made of wood pieces from a closed drying rack will keep the bottles in place. Attach everything with one inch nails and wood glue. Seven, jar stickers. Jar sticker labels will go a long way in helping organize your pantry containers. These labels will give you an idea of their contents at a glance and contribute to your efficiency. With vinyl stickers and a digital cutter, you can come up with almost any label design that you want. Even better, there are several templates available online you can download for free. Or simply go to Google Font Library and take your shot. More prominent labels will give your pantry a more themed look. It can be anything from wet ingredients, dry ingredients, grains, pasta, breakfast, healthy snacks, even junk food, etc. 6. Build a walk-in pantry complete with a ladder and a special door. This charming design is for those of you who need to organize a large walk-in pantry. White cabinetry will brighten up the area. White lopsided double doors will allow you to bring in or take out half to your items. You can keep the smaller ones closed most of the time. The bigger one is for everyday use. The French window type glass panes would let you and your guests see the beautiful containers and organized arrangement inside. 
To let you access the items on top, you can build a ladder that anchors on dowels installed just below the highest shelves. 5. Build a built-in pantry shelving system perfect for a small kitchen. With smaller kitchens, especially ones with a galley layout, you have to be more creative. A great solution is built-in shelving around your refrigerator. This design lets you maximize the awkward gaps around it. The ref housing protrudes about 3 inches from the shelving. Attach two open shelf columns on both sides of the ref and two wide shelves above it. All of them are cut from 3 quarter inch MDF and assembled with wood screws and glue. Use 1 by 2 inch bracing to secure the panels to the floor and back wall. 1 by 1 cleats hold the shelves. Finish the face with 1 by 2 inch trim and then paint. The ref would have to stick out enough to let you swing its doors fully open. 4. A simple solid rack pantry idea. Sometimes wire shelving won't cut it, and you may want to replace them with something more robust. First, remove the old shelves and fill in the holes. It would also be a perfect time to replace the back wall with a more attractive finish. In this case, the owner used stenciling and white overlapping circle patterns on gray paint. For textured walls, applying adhesive spray on the stencil would prevent paint from bleeding out. The shelves are 1 inch by 16 inch boards held up by 1 by 1 cleats. Install decorative brackets in the middle to prevent them from sagging. Finally, caulk and apply fresh coats of white paint to all the pieces. 3. A pantry door foil and plastic wrap solution idea. Plastic wrap and aluminum foils are some of the things you want out of plain sight in your kitchen. At the same time, you want to place them somewhere convenient. The ideal solution would be to mount them behind your pantry door for quick and easy access. But how? Use cheap self-adhesive plastic hooks that you can buy online. Instead of mounting the hooks facing upward, turn them to a 90 degree inwards. Stick them 10 by 5 eighths inches apart on the door so you can snap the tubes in by the sides. You'll still need the boxes to cut the foil and wrap. 2. Equip your pantry with this DIY divider for cookware idea. You can build this DIY divider to organize your pans, trays, racks, or other flat cookware. Cut two pieces of quarter inch plywood to the depth and width of the cabinet. Cut three eighths by one by one and a half inch slats, one and a half inch shorter than the cabinet's depth, and sandpaper the edges around. Use a one quarter inch scrap as a spacer and glue the slats flush and perpendicular to the plywood pieces back end. Build a top frame with 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch pine for the front and back. Use 3 quarter by 1 inch by half inch for the sides and screw it to the top. Install both guides at the top and bottom and make sure they are aligned vertically. Cut the divider panels to size. Also add curved indents that let you grab the cookware. Lastly, test if each would slide smoothly on the guides. Before I wrap this list up, thanks for keeping playing this video. If you like what you see, care to support this channel by pressing the subscribe button under the video. It benefits nearly half dozens of people working behind the video. And let's return to our final countdown. Lastly, number one, how to build your first DIY pantry from scratch complete with a barn door. First on the list is emptying the space of its previous contents. Prep the walls with the new paint if you want to. Next, cut five 1 by 16 inch boards to the width of the pantry. Keep your level bar handy as you attach 2 by 2 inch pine cleats into the walls by driving 3 inch wood screws into them. Secure the shelves on the cleats with 2 inch brads. You can add diagonal bracing in the middle for better structural strength. Routing the outer edges is optional, but would make them look more stylish. Finally, install the tracks above the doorway outside and attach the barn door. Conclusions. I think we've covered enough styles and organizing solutions to get you started on your pantry build or transformation. The ones listed here are all practical, pretty straightforward to follow, and easy on the budget. Were you able to find pantry ideas that you think would work for you? Drop by SempHome.com to view the entire article and get more makeover ideas and other helpful tips. That's it for now. Before this video ends, feel free to use a comment area to express your thoughts or reactions. Like or share it with anyone close to you in social media if you think the video deserves more attention. I hope you enjoy your stay, and until we meet again later sometime in the future, have a good day and stay safe.